Hi there, Aquarius. Welcome to your tarot reading. So, first of all, let me see here. Okay. So, the first thing that really jumped out at me here is uh, this is basically a process about re-examining the past, figuring out cycles and patterns, and figuring out our cycles repeating because we needed to learn a specific lesson or are they repeating because we haven't learned it the first time so I feel like for some of you there is somebody in your life and you feel like oh it's meant to be it's a faded karmic type of a relationship I'm exactly where I need to be with this person or I'm exactly where I need to be because of this job because of this location and so they're really telling you, you know, like, is it really meant to be or is it coming back around a cycle, something similar from the past or, you know, similar to something from the past that is cycling back around because the lesson hasn't been learned. And so I feel like you're kind of in a space where you're taking it and running with it and you're not really sure if it's meant to be or if it's something that you're still trying to learn. So the important lesson here, I feel, is to be really aware that some things are being recycled or some things come back in because we have to learn something from it, okay? This is a card about self-mastery. This is a card about having really um, a full confidence in your capabilities. And it's kind of like the idea about, you know, knowing how much you know and then disseminating and sharing your knowledge with other people kind of like being in the public limelight so then you can show other people direct other people and kind of um, I want to say like disseminate information so that you can lead others and, or so that you can steer others in the right direction okay so I feel like if some of you are in a position in your current work situation and you're dealing with the public you're constantly in the public eye you're constantly having to fix problems you're constantly having to manipulate or resolve or ca called in to do some type of damage control I feel like you are exactly where you're meant to be because there is a skill that you're still learning and I honestly feel like the skill has to do with leadership capabilities it's almost like you're being groomed for a position of power for a position of leadership and once you have mastered these skills you're not going to have to work from the bottom of the totem pole where you're dealing with financial scarcity or financial instability or you're not going to be you know that that first that newbie where if there's a turn for the worse in the economy you're the first that the company or the organization lets go okay so I do see cycles being repeated I see you learning from the past and I see in the work environment you are where you need to be and you need to upgrade your skills you need to show leadership you need to show diplomacy you need to be able to communicate very very well many of you are making a living based on communication so for example you know for for me for example if I'm doing tarot I'm making a living based on communication but I feel like it's deeper than that I feel like it's leadership and communicating in a way where there is no confusion about what you're trying to say being very firm but being very diplomatic which is a fine line that might be difficult for many Aquarius people because I feel like diplomacy might not be your forte you see things in a very binary manner black or white yes or no there isn't a really a middle ground and you're not somebody that will mold or um, change your demeanor based on your audience okay so like you have a one way of just one singular way of doing things and you don't really um, it's not that you don't take your audience into account but you feel like you know what's the best way to do things and so you don't really bend to cater to other people and so I feel like there there is a concept here about having to learn how to be very very firm but also to be very diplomatic so that people like you so that people respect you so that people want to hear what you have to say 
having to speak a little bit more rather than from that head chakra which is so heavily activated within you where you make connections really fast you have a lot of intellectual you know prowess that you can share and it's a huge asset it has always been a huge asset but communicating more from the heart um, kind of like being able to put yourself in other people's shoes so that you know how to adequately uh, persuade them you know how to adequately help them so that you allow them to feel important and uh, what does come to mind here is you know this entire cluster so I feel like many of you um, I'm gonna say this as you know I, I don't like to criticize but I feel like you might have been accused of this in the past okay where they say like you know you you know how to solve problems so if somebody comes to you and they're like i'm dealing with all of these things can you help me sort it out you're very good at sorting it out you're like okay a b c d done and it's over with but that interaction that transaction it leaves them feeling like they're just a number they're just a case like it's it's very impersonal and and you like to do that you like to make things very impersonal because when your emotions are worked up, when you're personally invested, you can't work as fast because you know, you're know you bogged down by these other superfluous feelings. And that's why you like to function in a very efficient, in a very detached, in a very depersonalized way. However, if you are being groomed for a leadership position, you need to learn how to communicate in a way that allow other people to see how important they are in your life, which is, it's going to annoy you, Aquarius. When someone thinks that they have so much importance in your life, you kind of scoff at that, right? And so if you're in a position of power, if you're in a position where you're being groomed to achieve a lot more, you're going to have to conform and you're going to have to change yourself just a little bit to make people feel important, to honestly make people feel that you appreciate them, make people feel wanted and needed, and make people feel that they can approach you when things go awry because you've got their back, right? So I feel like there is a massive, um, um, I guess like a strategy that you need to adopt in your work environment so that you can get yourself where you need to be, okay? This card came out here and um, it shows up here King of Wands in the reverse position. Let me talk about this as an energy first. This is a card about somebody that is in a supervisory, in a uh, managerial position. They wield a lot of power. They don't even have to, you know, get up from their throne. They have minions doing the work for them. And when it shows up in the reverse position, you're a very hands-on type of person you like to get out there, be on the front of that battlefield to do the work. You don't mind getting your hands dirty. You learn through experiencing it. So for you to be working behind the scenes, directing people, telling people what to do, that's not really your style. You take a very egalitarian stance when it comes to hierarchy, when it comes to office politics. You don't like to be, you know, if you're a leader, you don't like to be on your pedestal directing other people. You want to be kind of like in the trenches, working alongside other people. And you yourself, you're very independent. I don't feel you would be okay with delegating because there is deep down this sense of I can do it best. And if I delegate, somebody's going to mess up. If I give them um, you know, something to do, they're going to mess up. So I need to be careful and I just need to do it myself. So... The point here is learn to delegate, learn to be more of, um, learn to, to ease up a little bit, learn to sit back and especially, you know, show appreciation because I feel like that's going to allow a lot of people, you're going to be able to win a lot of people over to your side, okay? I'm sensing there is a work environment here where you are outstanding, like you're, you're shining, People are noticing that. They're, they're noticing these leadership capabilities within you. But I also feel like you don't want to, you know, uproot this position 
they might want you to take on more responsibilities and you don't really want to do that. They might make you, you know, manage a team and you don't want to do that because you want to work independently. And so I feel like the energy is you can't really have everything that you want. And so one of the skills that you really need to master for in this work environment for now, for this month or until, you know, further down the line, until the new year is learn to make people feel important. OK, be approachable and especially uh, show the appreciation teamwork is really important and you know you are very other oriented you're very team oriented but I also feel there's this energy here about I don't want to delegate because I don't want other people to mess up I want to do it right and I want to do it my way so that sense of independence I feel like it needs to be curbed a little bit okay so moving forward what I have here let's look at this uh, entire spread so first of all I feel like these are relationship partners for many of you, we have here a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. And this might be somebody that you have separated from, okay? You are moving on with your life. Life is looking very sweet, prosperous, and things like that. It, I, I feel like the world is opening up to you. But I feel like every once in a while, you still think about this person. You still think, you know, you still want to know whether or not they're okay you're still very much emotionally in tune with that person and you want them to be okay. But I feel like there was a lot of hurts and possibly betrayal in the past associated with this fire sign. It can be sun, moon arising and I feel like they might have made promises to you. They might have um, distorted the truth when they talked to you. They might have I'm, I'm sensing like they might have just been outright deceitful. And so you've left this person behind. You have a new person coming into the picture. I have here a water sign, so Queen of Cups. Uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Arising, and this can be male or female. Basically, this energy is somebody who's a lot more genuine, okay? Like uh, very sincere, loves completely. And I feel like this person is somebody that is uh, very nurturing, very loving, very caring. They know how to rough it out when things get hard. They know how to calm you down and they have a very stabilizing influence in your life. So many of you are involved with this person. And I'm also sensing as well that you might see a relationship with this person as something that is it's okay but is it the best so once again we're trying to figure out you know how is this going to work uh there might be an element of distance between the two of you there might be like a lot of obligations from their end I, i'm sensing you're dealing with somebody who is like very emotionally up and down okay they might have a lot of things they're juggling they might have two jobs they might have a lot of financial responsibilities and so it's hard for the two of you to form a relationship together. I'm feeling as well with this Queen of Cups, it could also be your energy for this month where you're feeling very proud of yourself. You're feeling of your proud accomplishments. You're feeling, you know, really good about the positive reception and the attention that you're getting in the work environment. But your financial situation, your money is not like it, it's it's not comparable to all the skills all the knowledge all the good work that you bring to this work environment so i feel like you might be short change financially you're putting in a lot of work you're very irreplaceable but financially you're not being compensated what you feel you deserve okay so I also feel a little bit of a slowdown for this month, okay? So if we have here an, a, an earth sign, uh, I'm sorry, a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, there might be financial discussions between you and them. And if you have children with them, there's going to be a discussion about, you know, financially providing for children as well. If you share children with a water sign, there might as well water sign from the past even, I feel like there's going to be some discussions about money. There's some discussion about money that is not being paid out, money that was promised, but for whatever reason, it is being stalled, okay? My advice is, you know, Aquarius, don't be naive, okay? 
don't be naive. I feel like you have a big heart, you have a good heart, and you do see the best in people. But I feel like if it happens over and over and over again, and we're talking about cycles here, why do people come back? Why do the same energies happen, you know, with different people? It's because there are patterns or there are cycles or there are lessons that you haven't really learned. And so if you, if this sounds familiar, I feel like the important lesson is don't be naive. Look at the situation in realistic focus. Don't see what you want to see because somebody is kind of like pulling a fast one over you. So it's really important to dig a little bit deeper, do your proper research, assess a situation as honestly as you can and don't be so quick to come to the aid and the assistance of someone just because they you feel like oh they're in a jam or you feel like oh they can't really do it I want it done right so I'm going to step in let them learn things their way okay focus on you let them learn things their way but when it comes to finances I feel like there is some shady financial dealing money that is supposed to go to you is not going to you there's some delay or in your work environment I feel like you're not paid enough for all your skills and all the mastery of these skills that you're bringing to the table okay so I hope that is helpful for you Aquarius so I'll be back for the mid-month reading and I'll talk to you guys soon okay and I'll be back right now for the love reading